The greatest thing that came out of the first company that I ever started was the belief. So I would go on and do that four more times. It was five startups altogether. The first one was in this highly technical space of home repair and improvement. The second one was in logistics, which doesn't sound very technical, but it actually is. As I traipsed into you know, the fifth company, we became more and more technical all the way along um, and learned a lot of things along the way. The mistakes were the things that I think have stayed with me the most. Hardest thing I ever had to do was to lay people off because when you have to lay someone off, it's your, it's your fault. No one else can take blame for that, it's your fault. Quite frankly, sometimes the best idea, the thing that's gonna really work is the iteration of what you're doing, not the thing that you're on right now. The hardest and the most expensive thing we ever dealt with was money. Taking money is the most expensive thing you will ever, ever do. So be very wise who you sort of get in bed with on that. Right? There should be a big payoff with whomever's giving you money. There are some people's money that's worth more than others even though it's the same amount. Right? Be very clear, all money is not equal. Like, and all, all investors will not, you know, will not be able to give you the great contacts and customers and all the type of stuff that they, they offer. They just, like the pitch from an investor or from a, a professional investor, uh, VC, and things can very much be, I'm gonna open doors for you and this kind of, like, all sorts of things. Only a handful of those cats can actually do that in any way that's useful to you. You did say that when you sell your equity, your company is a part of your soul, but at the same time you said you have five companies. The, the big investors, what they say is like, listen, it's your first company, just give it away, you'll do better in the next one. So when do you have to actually sacrifice your, your first dream for your second dream? And, and I don't know, is there... Does everyone plan to be a serial entrepreneur? Can you see your way through tossing out the company you're in to starting another one? If that's what you see, you're in the wrong business. Like, I don't, I don't think any single startup has a plan. You shouldn't have a plan B, right? Like, I guess my point is, like, either you're all in or you should get out. Like, I, I don't think in any, I don't, I would never been able to tell you in the first company that I would do five. Never, never, no clue. I did five because I was kind of addicted to it and I kept going. And I had money that had come from some of these companies that I could keep, I could try something else. What's the best decision you made in all the companies that you started that you'd then carry forward? Product quality, product or service quality, choices that we made in that space were some of the best choices that we made. I don't think any, you know, the choices that we made literally to, to make it better or make the quality better um, or, 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 you know, code in an something unique to it, those were always fantastic choices. A role that I find quite hard to define in this space is uh, CTO. I was wondering if you could list like the perfect attributes of the CTOs you've worked with. Yes. Uh, I'll give you maybe three. Untethered. So they're not bound, like the, the best CTOs that I work with were never bound to platform, they were never bound to single technology, and they were never bound practically to the earth. And, you know, whatever the original idea was, they were gonna basically put ropes on it and throw it all over the place. And that was what they, you know, sometimes you think that that was the CEO's job, it was supposed to be the visionary. I don't, I don't find that to be the case. I found the CTOs to be, at least in our companies, some of the best parts of the visionary, because they were visionary about how as opposed to what. Thank you guys for your time. Like, really appreciate it.